Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. The sun is just peeking up there and I'm ready to start putting the last of this OSB on. I got three pieces. Unfortunately, I got a tiny piece there and this is bigger than eight feet. So I got three pieces back here and two pieces here. And that's it. Then I have some flat blocking to put in here. This will be uh, one by four by two inch laid flat and glued in. And the same same goes back here in this spot here. Then I need to resaw the solid lumber that's going to go on here. And that will wrap it up. Yep, that'll wrap it up. Then I can, I believe I can get to the foam right away. I looked up the temperatures of all of the adhesives that I'm going to be using to see how cold it can be when I apply them. And right around 40 is, is going to be it for all of them. The roof membrane says 40 degrees and rising. The foam board adhesive says 40 degrees. And the construction adhesive for the deck up there says free of frost. So that's roughly 40 degrees as well. So yeah, I got everything buttoned down last night, covered up. I got the ladders laying down, uh, made sure everything was ready for the storm. There was supposed to be, there was a severe storm watch uh, and a tornado watch and it missed us. I could see the clouds coming on, or I could see the storm coming on radar, and it went north and south of us and missed us completely. I don't think we even got wind. Now that everything is uh, put away real well, I got to go get it out of storage and ready for work. So the first thing I'm going to do is split a panel in half. These are 24 inch. I'll use the little DeWalt saw because it's got the thinnest blade. I have 24 and a quarter inch between these two, so it'll be a, just a hair bigger than the, than the recommended gap, but that's perfectly fine. It's all blocked in, so that's going to work good. All right, let's cut some wood.
done with the OSB. Already primed, so don't have that to do. Now what I have to do is cut, cut my little flat cleats for here, clean this out. I had a little mishap, I'm sure you've seen that, on this longest panel. I did not clean out the dried glue from the upper panel and it wouldn't go on there so I had to yank it off and get that glue out of there. But it's on. Everything is good now. So there is one, two, how many of these are there? Is it just the four? Yes, I believe it is. One, two, oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have eight cleats to make to get them in, and then I have to resaw and put in these mulls. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to uh, get these cut, glue them in place, and then use the finish nailer on them. If I use the, the framing nailer, because this is so narrow, it may just, you know, if I nail anywhere near this end, it's probably going to split. So what I'll probably do is get these glued, finish nail them in place to hold them in position and then throw a couple clamps on them. I'll get enough clamps to do two of them, put two in, and then work on something else while they dry. I'll just give them, you know, 20 minutes or so to dry and then put the next ones in. Okay, that's my plan. I gotta measure these openings up and get that stuff cut. Okay, I got all my cleats in, now, I'm going to go and resaw the mullions. Okay, I got these rough cut to length. Um, it's these boards right here. So what I need to do, these are pretty damp. I wish they were a little drier. These are going to end up two inches wide. So what I am going to do is Rip a quarter inch off of the best side, all four of them, flip them over, and then cut them to two inches. So, like on this board, that'll get rid of this wane and this wane. Then on edge, I'll resaw them into two 7 16 inch boards. This is treated. It really didn't have to be treated, but it's not going to hurt. Okay, let's get going.
Okay, I gotta wait for the saw to cool down so I can reset the breaker. Got a little breaker. No, can't see it from here. Right there. But the motor's gonna have to cool down a little bit. This this wood is just way too wet. I don't know if you've ever bought treated lumber before. Uh, sometimes it's just soaking wet and that's what this is so it might be 15 20 minutes so I'm gonna go have some lunch and then I'm gonna start over I got two this is uh, white wood not it's like spruce or something whatever it's not pine this might be pine but I know this isn't and I got a one by a one by six or a two by six I should say that I'll cut into two hopefully these knots aren't going to give me a problem all this really is is uh, a spacer so yeah I hope it doesn't fall apart I would like to use clean wood and this stuff was pretty damn clean it has a few knots but if need be I'll find a clean area on some of this other lumber and cut that but I think this will work. All right, I'm gonna have lunch and come back and get this stuff cut. Okay, so it's now the same thickness as the OSB. Got eight of them, and I need to trim these to, oh, what is it, 55 and three quarters or something. I got it written down here somewhere. So I'm going to do that, and I'll meet you back over by the addition.
Okay, all done. That's it for the sheathing layer. Next is the foam layer, which is an inch and a half thick uh, extruded polystyrene. But before I put that on, there is one detail. I need a, it's a two by four that runs along the top. I'm gonna rip one edge flat and rip the bottom edge with a five degree down bevel and then the foam will go up into that. That's used later for attaching the deck parts. If you remember right, this is going to get a deck on top of it. It's not going to happen until next spring, but this gets a cap on it and then it'll get a finished cap when I do the deck uh, matching wood. So I'll run a two before all the way around and I will show that to you tomorrow. No need to film that. Yeah, this is a big milestone. Glad to have it done. The foam is so much easier than this because the foam is not fussy where it's put. I, I can put a full sheet here, then a sheet there. Do, I could do whatever I want with the foam. I can put little pieces in here and there if I wanted to because it's not structural. The furring strips that go on top of the foam go through the foam and into the studs. It's a hanging curtain wall like most skyscrapers are these days. So the foam really does nothing except insulate. So I'm going to get that on and I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, I think I'll be putting foam up tomorrow. So I'll show you that when I start putting the foam up tomorrow. If you want to see that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon so you're notified when I post the new videos. A like and a share would help the channel greatly, so I'd appreciate it if you did that. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. I generally answer all comments. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.